Alright, I'm gonna focus your bull. Marcus one two zero five numbers after the name. A little overcooked. Two action over here, man. Wrong <laughs> with the captain. So he was ready with things get a little bit weirder. You know what I'm saying? I still don't really even know what these beagles are necessarily. Um, but here's where things get a little bit trickier, man. So this is Kevin one. Uh, I guess the easy way to explain is there's six worlds, quote unquote, even though they're all in the same place. But whatever, there's six worlds, uh, six stages, I believe, in each world. And then there's these kind of Kevin stages, which are unlockable stages, which I guess you do from playing well in the game. I, I, I don't really know. I know we were just going for four stars, so we were playing well no matter what. Um, and every once in a while, we'd unlock like a Kevin stage. That was cool. Uh, and I believe there's eight of them. Maybe. Don't 100% quote me on that. But I believe there's eight. I think we beat them all. Uh, either way, though, uh, they're a little bit harder to a certain extent. I, I, to, by the end of the game, we reached the point where, like, I didn't even feel there was challenge no more. Like, everything was like, yo, like, phew, like, it's a straight fire. And then after playing, like, the DLC and stuff, too, I'm like, ah, right, like, we still got it. 5-3. When we get to 5-3, you'll understand what difficult really is. Because we spent, I don't know, I think I lost a little bit of my life in 5-3. Like, I think I left, like, something behind there in 5-3, you know. Like, uh, at least, like... I won't say I lost like a day or two of my life there, but I definitely lost five to six hours of like my life on 5-3. Uh, so this is Kevin 1. Uh, and it's a little bit more trickier just because there's a lot more like prep work than what we've been seeing. And then ultimately, when you look back on it, it isn't really that 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 complicated. Uh, but I remember being on the stage here for like a hot minute, man. And we actually tried it over here with a couple other people to uh, join in on the fun. And every once in a while, you'll see it. We have Marcus and friends. We're going to ask some, uh, some more friends. Uh, into the mix over here on the overcooked actions. Everybody wants to get in on the fun of cooking uh, virtually, you know, real life cooking that people that ain't that into it, but virtually you can cook all day uh, and have fun with it. And it's cool to like blow up a kitchen that ain't yours, you know what I'm saying? Speaking of which, I gotta clean my kitchen, man. <sighs> Quarantine, man, you cook all the time, man. You gotta clean it, man. You gotta make sure everything clean. Did I marinate that meat the other day? I think I marinated those steaks, yeah. I gotta make sure we get those steaks popping today, man. Mmm, put on that skillet. Either way, uh, the tricky part here is just the communication, just kind of keeping everything flowing, right? Like, the key is that you have to keep something going, uh, something cook at all points on his side and on my side. Mainly even more so on my side than his side. I kind of have the fish-like thing over here. I'm the panda, by the way. I kind of have the fish situation over here where I need to sometimes chop the fish and throw the fish in there. And every once in a while, I'll grab something from him. He kind of has his just, like, on deck right there. And then, yeah, he's kind of responsible of, um, of washing the dishes and stuff like that. Uh... It's one of those stages where the game already distributes it for you, uh, which I kind of like, I guess. I, I don't know. I, we always found a pretty good rhythm when playing this game as to like what our system was going to be. Uh, we would kind of play the stage the first time and just see like what's happening over here. And sometimes, uh, I, like I, those first attempts, I almost thought about maybe adding them to Tight Tuesdays to do like a Tight Tuesday and uh, and uh, and then uh, the Marcus and Friends to show you like the before and after. Because those first attempts are just hilarious of me just staring. I'm literally just like looking, like just staring. And I'm like, ah, so what? <laughs> like, what's what's going on here? Like, what, what, what exactly are we doing here? Um, so I've always thought it was pretty pretty fun in that sense. And I'm also responsible, I guess, for throwing the flower here. But I'm cool with the stages that kind of already divide you. Because there is no real, like, like thought process. Like, I kind of have to focus on my stuff and that's it. I do have to communicate with them. I have to make sure that's flour. I got to make sure they get the plates. I got to make sure that we're grabbing what we need, that we're putting it all in order. Like, all that stuff is some amount of communication in there. But it's no, like, crazy rotation thing. It's definitely no moving platform thing. It's definitely no fighting against current thing. It's definitely no wind thing. It's definitely nothing of that ilk. We're kind of restricted to what we're at. And that's kind of what we're, like, doing with it. And get that last order there in those final seconds. Let's see if that's enough, man. Because if it isn't enough, I probably shouldn't have posted it on the channel. <laughs> Just barely enough. Oh, it hurts. It hurts when you see that. You're like, I, right. I'm like, we did it. Let's get out of here. On to the next. 